How do you use the job search functionality on LinkedIn? If you are looking for a job on LinkedIn, did you know that there is a job search functionality? How do you use it? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find it, how to use it and how to find, how to narrow down to look for the location and the job description for where you want to apply for and for your next role. My name is Louise Brogan. I'm the host of LinkedIn with Louise and I invite you to subscribe to this channel where I'll be sharing lots of content weekly to help you leverage LinkedIn, whether you are looking for work, raising your profile online, or running a small business. Please hit subscribe and let's move straight to the training. How to use the job functionality on LinkedIn. How to find jobs using the LinkedIn jobs functionality. So we're on LinkedIn, we're logged in, and we go across to the jobs tab. If you want to see what all of these different menu options are, then check out my other video about the LinkedIn jobs tab, also on the channel. And for this video, we're going to focus on looking at searching for your next job. So first of all, what's the screen look like? So you've got the top menu here. Then we've got search for your next job in the search engine bar here. We have previous roles you've searched for before. And then because I have a LinkedIn Premium, it's showing me jobs where I am a top applicant, okay? So let's have a look down here. So searching by title, skill, or company. So I'm going to search for a role for somebody who is a marketing manager. Type in marketing manager and you'll see then it gives you actually other things that people search for as well. So that's interesting. And then we want to go and look for, so let's look for a job in London, England, United Kingdom. So it's showing us 7,145 results. You see here how many people you've got. So that's a lot of results. So why don't we look for ones that have been posted recently? So we look for date posted, anything in the last 24 hours, 379 results. That's good. That sounds good. So you look through your jobs and you decide which one did you want to apply for. And uh, let's say marketing campaign manager. Let's look at this one that says these are promoted. You'll see just check that's promoted here. Um, marketing campaign manager Hayes, London, and I can see the two people I know work here. So that's when I would click on that and I would go and potentially ask somebody about the role. So it's marketing campaign manager Hayes, London, two applicants, two hours ago, temporary associate, um, actively recruiting. So this is going to be, it sounds like this is actually um, from an agency. So it's maybe not what we're looking for today. So let's have a look down here and go to junior marketing manager, Blue Optima, North Lambeth, England, United Kingdom. Actively recruiting. Okay, so let's look at the role. Um, job description, who are they looking for? Um, I really, this is a great job description. It's got lots of information here for you. It's got your requirements and then it says why work for us. So a little tip here is go and check out this company, Blue Optima, and you can do that by, these are clickable links. So we just click on here and we will go and look at the company. So this is the, the company, this is the team. Um, these are the 171 employees on LinkedIn. What kind of company are they? This is why people need to be aware of having company pages on LinkedIn because you want to go and look and see who this company is and they haven't posted in a year. <laughs> oh, there, sorry, apologies. That is a that is the pinned post. Um, okay, it's talking about interns and there's the interns look pretty happy. Is this the kind of company that you want to work for? Oh, it's been listed in beststartup.co.uk. So this looks good, right? So let's go back. Um, and have a look at the role. I would just click on jobs here. Uh, it's got 36 job openings. So go back to the job here and um, apply on LinkedIn. It's got more information in here. And literally to do this, so first of all, you can apply here. You can also set an alert for similar jobs. So if you want job alerts, um, now we're going to be alerted to other jobs that come up like this. And if you want to edit that and take it out, go into jobs in here 
and you can now turn on or off any of these different functions in here okay so suggestion to create new job alerts in here and um, service requests from your network so whatever settings you want to set in here make sure that you go and set them back to the company and to apply you simply click on apply on linkedin and it's going to pull the information from your linkedin profile so if we go in and click next it's going to fill in all your information and you just go through this step by step so you maybe type in where you live next and you can see it's 25 percent filled so it tells you as you go you upload your resume and click next and then your work experience so it's giving it's pulling my work experience from my profile so if there's something you don't want to include here then just remove it it just removes it from the application it doesn't remove it from your um your actual linkedin profile so it's got the education section as well the exact same thing and then screening questions so linkedin profile so it's asking so when someone sets up a job on LinkedIn, they will have screening questions. So they want to know certain things about you. So it will have um, checking this box. Now, I'm not going to actually apply for this role. So I'm not going any further with this. But this is a sim how easy it is to apply for roles on LinkedIn. Um, so let's go back to the job section. So um, junior marketing manager. Now it's keeping that job because um, it's got the job alert on and that's where you can turn the job alert off in here if we want to turn it off so we can look at other rules down here and we'll say let's have a look at one that doesn't have easy apply so okay marketing manager it's guardian jobs that's a, a again that's another recruitment site and um, so we're scrolling down let's say we want to have a look at um particular company like reach volunteering so six roles so looking for volunteer social and <laughs> um, these are volunteer roles which can also be on LinkedIn and um, so you know if you want to get experience you could apply for these jobs if you'd like but you can see then all the different ways to edit you can reset and say well, I don't want to um, specifically apply for that role maybe I want to have one that is um, five kilometers from where I'm looking um, my experience level is I'm going in at entry level now let's have a look 86 results and um, date posted uh, anything in the last 24 hours two results there you go and um, so this one is from Guardian Jobs again and this one is from Next Station so let's have a look at this one Okay, our partner is an award-winning company. Do, 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 do. So if this looks like something you want to apply for, you work through the steps again to apply on LinkedIn. And go through those different steps. If you don't want to apply for it now, you can just save it. So you've saved this job in your jobs tracker. See, save jobs. There, my jobs are in here. Where you can find this is if you go to the home section of your pro LinkedIn and you go to your own profile and you scroll down it's under here my items keep track of your jobs your courses and um, your learning and your saved posts so here's the role so I don't want to um, unsave just click on unsave so that's how you look for your next job on LinkedIn let's just do another one let's look for um, sales team member okay and in the united kingdom there's a lot so let's look for ones in the last 24 hours 351 experience level uh, so let's say we're looking for an internship so we're looking for three trainee healthcare partner sales assistant birmingham city council let's have a look um again let's apply let's look through so it's some weekend shifts evening shifts so it really depends what they've put in their um job description for you to look at are you interested in salary information for this job yes i am <laughs> so um about the company go and follow the information about the company and then again to go and click apply and this is a different format so it's taken us to um 
an external um, recruitment site, McKesson. So it's going to tell us more information about the role. We can see it's actually at Lord Lloyd's Pharmacy and you can then go and apply for the role here. So it's taking us away from LinkedIn to this other um, recruitment site. So the filters across the top that you want to look at, let's have, we can reset any of them at any time. So if we go to any time, show results, and let's say we want to look at, so we want to look for a role, a graduate role, graduate trainee in the United Kingdom. Um, maybe we want to say Scotland. Okay. So 127 results, there we go. Um, date posted in the past week, 13 results. Okay, internships, graduate management trainee, um, graduate trainee in housing. So have a look through the ones that you want to have a look at. And uh, there's um, a junior packaging developer <laughs> for a whiskey company, might be fun. Um, so ha just have a scroll through the various options, job type. So we want a job that is full time. Um, there's lots of different companies there. We want remote working. So no matching jobs fine. So we'll have to remove that because um, that's not working for us. Look for ones that are easy to apply for. And that means so there are none for that either. So um, remove that. And reset all of your filters. So you just play around with the different filters and start to save up the jobs that you're applying for and apply for as many that fit you as possible. And hopefully you find this useful um, description of how to look for and find jobs in LinkedIn. So search by title, skill or company, city, state or zip code. Um, and remember, your these are look, these are the job searches I have looked for down below. Um, and then if you have premium, which is the paid service on LinkedIn, um, it's showing me jobs where I might be a top applicant. If you find this useful, then please do um, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other questions about using LinkedIn, then please do leave a comment below. I'd be delighted to help you out by answering your question in a new video.